I really wonder, have I been there? Like, what is that entrance over there? Uh... Oh, yes I have. It's... Isn't that literally the entrance to this place? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been so... So long, no wonder I forgot. Yeah, this is the entrance. Yep, and there was one secret here, which we've already collected. Never mind, never mind. Just making sure everything is collected. <laughs> But yeah, either way, let's uh, let's continue. I should be, I should know where to go, like progression-wise at least. Seems like we already have all the abilities. I was just guessing that how to how to use those little coin things, coin pads. But apparently, you only need to crown bound them, which is good to know. I don't think I would have found that found that out without the game telling me how to do it, to be honest. Well, maybe eventually. Like, this building right here says... A hidden secret lies within, in a twin. We just saw the twin back in there. In the same place, uh, in the same area, rather. So, obviously that is something I need to come back to and see what it is. But, yep, let's keep going. Duh, do you though, the good? The god! <laughs> What's in here? A token of death. Ancient cultures used to place these over the eyes of the diseased, as a payment to the god of death for uh, ferrying them to the afterlife. People from ancient cultures must have had big eyes. Um, a coin that used to be placed over the eyes of the diseased in an ancient funeral, f f uh, funeral rituals. It originally belonged to Stethone, the grave digger, and probably ga came from one of the funerals he conducted. Stedhone is honor, bound to lay the re uh, to rest to those who have passed, and wishes them peace beyond life. All right. The ancient culture was anime. Oh my god. The revelations are real. This could also be a place where we need to go, though. Where is this going? Oh, it's a hookshot upgrade. Interesting. I'll take it. Ah, I keep forgetting. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was a strat. Oh, look, he's he's angry. He's angry, boy. No! 
no! He's a clever bastard. Should be pretty weak at this point already. Ooh. Got him. All right, let's see this upgrade. Come on. A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your hookshot spell now does a powerful slash if you use your sword while being pulled towards the target. All right. Interesting. We haven't found upgrades to our bow or the fire spell, so there are still those. So I'm kind of... I'm pretty sure these two are somewhere in the early places, but let me just test this out. Nice. nice. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. We got a powerful thrust. All right. Yep, 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 I will find. Hey, it's it's tactical oh. drowning. <laughs> I swear. <gasps> what is that? I don't know, but I want it. Oh my god, it's a big boy! He's so big! Oh my god, that ass! Ooh, that ass! Mm, it's so big! Oh, oh my god! I can't take it! I can't take it! Let me try the hook shot. A teddy bear? Ink covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. Oh, that's so horrible thing to say. This plush bear was probably quite cute when, I, when it first was made. But in, in its current state, it's a sorry bedragged sight. Covered in ink stains and small circular blotches. It nevertheless appears well loved. Did I even watch, uh, inspect this? No, well, nothing really to inspect, I suppose. What about this coin? Nothing there either, just a skull. It's not that even bad. Why? Why he said he said it's disgusting. <laughs> but who who would want a bear, though? Some kind of a kid. Like right there, there is... Uh, it has to be a way over there. Other way around. Because, oh, it's literally right here. <laughs> you found an adventure journal. It is very damn. The pages seem to be stuck together. I wonder what kind of an adventurer wrote this journal. <laughs> <laughs> this waterlogged old journal's early chapters described a tale of being sucked th uh, through a giant door under the sea and having to start a new life stranded atop of a mountain. The later chapters just talk a lot about the writer's friendship with the squid. What are those things? There's some kind of a mountain and a path between them with an X on it.
Huh. There was already a puzzle s solution in one of those things you need to inspect, so... That was also a hint of some kind. Mm, it makes so delicious more, oh, yes. The bear's journal, maybe. Tell him straight. Wait. It's a neat backpack while I've, uh, which I fashioned for myself out of an old tarp. I used my uh, opposable thumbs, which are things that I definitely have. They're always very impressed. Now, good, okay. Let's uh, let's allow him to make us uh, another meal. Super five in the overgrown ruins. Okay. So there's also a secret in the the witch place. But yeah, um, this is where I think we need to go. I could be wrong, but let's see. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. Beneath... Uh, okay. Interesting. Something about this place here. Oops. Not quite. <laughs> What if I just roll over there? <laughs> worth it. Absolutely worth it. Cracks in the wall. Under a wooden walkway. Maybe here? There are weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Behind twin columns, a secret waits for thee. Twin columns. have twin columns also by the way we can already do this thing here as well I just need to drop down to it and just do this hey <laughs> found it Shard from Mastic, Magic Crystal. So there are more of those as well. Okay, yeah, we are we are far from get, getting anything, like 100% of this game. So twin col columns, uh, now where would that be? Why can I drop down? 
I swear, I'm, I'm going to softlock this game eventually. <laughs> I, I just know I will. I'm, I'm so sure of it. Twin columns. It, it could, could have been on the previous place as well. Oh. Well, that's pretty obvious. Where a giant face stares, a secret wait, fate waits for thee. A giant face. That could mean a multiple different things. Uh... It could mean the statue I was just on. Oh. Well. Beneath a, ga a gargoyle, a secret waits for the... A gargoyle? Have we seen a gar gargoyle anywhere? Uh... Well, not there. Oh, oh, never mind. That's uh, one of those Lord statues, but a gargoyle. Those are another Lord statues. <laughs> I love how the music is just—it's fading away, and then it uh, when you approach the city, it just uh, grows back. Hell, do we have that? Well, not here, that's for sure. <clears throat> da, da, da. Oh, okay, so. Behind there? Oh, there. We exist to serve those who oppose the Lord of Doors. I mean, do do we oppose the Lords of Doors? I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think we did, but all right. That was a pretty funny bus puzzle, though. I liked it. So we can open this. And that's a new weapon. You found a great sword! This was clearly wielded by a very imposing figure once upon a time. You're gonna pick. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, I got all the weapons in the game. An oversight Reaper weapon, which weights twice as much as a standard issue played, and thus deals more damage at the expense of agility. Yes! Ooh! Mm -mm -mm. Yeah! It actually looked a, looked a lot, lot bigger in the hand of a, a statue. <laughs> Ow! Okay. It's, it's not over yet. Playing around with the. 
Come on. Okay, don't have to do it again, thank god. <laughs> oh, damn. The heavy attack is very heavy this time. Oh, the hookshot also gives you iframes. <laughs> Come on. Get shut on. Oh god, uh, can I? Oh, it's... Did that guy just fall down? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Do, do, do. A lot of things are heavy. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Oh no! Ah! That's a bomb. <laughs> Skinny? I don't know about that though. Nice. I have more life. Hell yes! Alright, that was not the place where we need to go, but at least now we have more health and magic, which is good. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know, this game could use an indicator. Like, of course you can see where he's pointing at right now, right? But even an extra arrow would be nice. Just a... One more detail, and that would be okay. But hey, we got a, we got a new, new weapon. Mm. The real reaper weapon here. A great sword. Massel one says, we love you Tiago. Thea Thea Tiago. We lo 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 love you go. T T T T Tiago. He 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 Tiago loves a mad's jiggly but he 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 he. Sure do. Look at this fortress. It's big. Just like my... By the way, there's still only one fire here. Okay, so we need to... Get there. I hope the game didn't tell me at some point that you can actually do that. I don't think it did. I just, I don't think it did. That you can actually ground pound these things. Pretty sure it didn't. Or maybe I missed it, like normal Ahmad style. But at least that mystery is solved now. Mm. Alright. This should be on the right level. And that is a key. Interesting. Oh. You actually needed to go from here. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, guys. Sometimes you can do puzzles from... Or solutions from a different angle. Or knees, if you have knees. It, it wasn't check knees, it was just knees, so you, you can go back to lurking and enjoying life.
Dee 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 dee. Yeah, just just regular knees, exactly. Oh, okay, that was not it. I was looking for a way to the other place, but I think it's not this one. Here. A knee slap. Well, there you go. You got it. I got you covered. Knee slap required and acquired. What where does this go? This is uh, okay. Never mind. Oh. Yep, for free. You didn't have to pay a single penny. Imagine. That's how. That's how free I am. <laughs> Ooh, what is this place now? Man, I'm speedrunning this game so hard. Here lies Lord Open Gate, the third in the lineage of the Lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at delegation, they spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling in the fastness of space. Sp space? Alright, that's weird. That is the second lantern lit. 50 dollars? I mean, you can pay for me 50 dollars if you want, for another knee slap. I don't mind. Greetings, young reaper. Your presence here is quite a conjurer. It would indicate that the course of events which started with the formation of Death's Door has led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it is also... Uh, in, in Ticketive of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as part of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young reaper. I can sense victory in your future. See, Masal, those words for just for you. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Titans lurking in the dark and cold. The Reaper strikes for glory, not a mold, old gold. Mm, I don't know what. Taxing. Look, check me. I'm underground. Ooh, where is this leading? <gasps> where are we going? Where are we going, guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? You found an ancient crown. It feels unusual to the touch, as if it was once contained life. Uh, an ancient crown worn by the first Lord of Doors. The Lords are being of pure soul energy, only able to hold corporeal form thanks to their armor binding their souls to this world. Made from a metallic yet organic material, each descendant has its armor forged by the Preceding pre Lord? However, the creation of the first Lord remains a mystery. Preceding Lord. Now let me inspect it. If there's anything weird about it. 
There's a keyhole. <laughs> and it's completely sh tight shut, by the way, so that's a pretty bad helmet, I would say. Un unless you wear it uh, completely the other way around. I guess that would make sense. Mario Sunshine. You know what else is shining right now? Hello, Dylan, how you doing? And that's about that. Now I am fully healed. Yay! Sorry, Jackney. This is my real voice. Oh, there's something here. Okay. This is why you never redeem shit. <laughs> Sorry. People just know what they like, and it's not de demonic mod. That's just how it is, Jackney. Jackney! Jackney! I'm a Jackney! Uh oh. Crap. More like crap knee right now. Oh shit! Killing me! I can't handle! Oh no. That? What? Hold on. Huh. Wonder how we can get there. Hello. I would never be anything like that. I don't wanna. How tall is that last one? Okay, it's taller than this. Wait, it's still taller than this? Okay, then we have to go there. Make up an aid run on the channel? Uh, never. Unless we're going to do uh, another birthday special and run 1 through 11, which we definitely won't be. Just, just saying, just saying. Unless you pay me like exactly this amount of money. What it says in the GPU. 
Th that's the incentive right there, Jack Knee. This one. <laughs> that, that, that's the Mega Man 8 incentive. <laughs> yep. Yep. That, that's, that's how it is. Uh, this this might be problematic, guys. Oh god! What? I did not aim there. <laughs> god damn it! Done. Nice. Thank you, Jack Lee. I always knew you'd be able to uh, afford that that amount of money easily as well. All right. That is the third torch lit. <clears throat> Speak to me. Nublar, listen to these words. Sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of, of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession Helvetia, before their death Helvetia, and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was to try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried to, to okay. I tried my best to do I right by living, oh, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If an opportunity yeah. presents itself, a uh, child, end this cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to, to come uh, to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that Pretty others sure. will reach it on their own. Oh, so pretty. Maybe it's a riddle. Hey, there has been a lot of riddles here. <gasps> oh. La 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 la. Did you guys know there's actually a teletubby called La La? Here lies Lord Deadbolt. The fourth in the lineage of the Door Lords. Their rule was dark, but, but produced efficiency among Reapers. An overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. And that, my friends, is the last fire. <gasps> oh my god! We got a cage like you know birds go in the cage makes sense right my life was not easy the balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone the lord who created me had grand delusions about fate and purpose but fate did not bind me to, de to death's door duty did no other could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anarchosims that is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor bade no heed to my teachings. I fear their ray may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Alright. That's it, guys. Wait, what is this room? What is this room? What is this room? What the... Oh, he, he dodged. This is the secret room, guys. What is this? You found some kind of a signed contract? How exciting! 
Except it's a death contract. This appears to be some kind of a contract. It resonates with an uncanny energy. It has been written in an ancient text you can't read. I mean, there's there's just two signs. <laughs> Interesting. I keep having so many items in the game, but I have no idea where to use them. Weird. Also, what is this background all about? I'm, I'm in like some kind of a planet? Mars, maybe? <laughs> Alright, well... Let's go upgrade our stuff, since we have so many... <laughs> I am! I am, I can't be helped. Can't be helped. Where is this? Oh, here, okay. D that's better. So, let's upgrade... Magic twice. And then upgrade... Um, Speed, because we're speedrunners. Gold, <laughs> was it? Let's see what this boss is all about. Oh, we forgot to speak. No, I forgot to speak with the stupid lyric thing. Let's go back. I need to go back. I need to go speak with the lyric thing. <laughs> hey! You got that old elevator working. Perfect timing too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. Listen to this, Jackney. Listen to this. This is, this is a song for you. Alright, here we go. I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating paradigm. A maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. What was that? A fisherman love driven out of his mind. Oh. The hero will ride the wrongs of this crime. <laughs> That's it. Woo! What do you think? Yeah, stunned silence. That's what I was expecting. All right, then. I'll meet you further up the mountain. Don't get in any trouble on the way, at least not without me. Yeah, that was a song for Jack Knee right there. <laughs> Is there something here? Oh my god, a secret... Thing. Orb. Uh oh. This smells like wind. <laughs> D -d -d -d. Damn. There's a random guy there. Oops, my bad. Oh! Oh no! It's an enemy! <laughs> I thought we saw it was an NPC. <laughs> Whoops. Duh. Okay, uh, I thought I, I was able to go here. <gasps> you can see the entrance and everything. Wow. So cool. I did, but... Hey, I have a big, big-ass sword. I'm allowed to decapitate people because I'm a death incarnate. Ooh, what's in there? <gasps> Another secret thing. Oh my god. Another one? No. Word of advice for people who actually place this game after me. Use this! Your right stick. Effectively, because there's a lot of things in the game you can't see just by moving around. 
da. No, no, Masal, no. <sighs> what is this place? Another seed. Can I put this on fire? I can't. I wanted to. Yep. <laughs> Make sure you play with your right stick accordingly. That's the only way. Well, this was pretty lazy design in a way. You know, there's... There's not a whole lot of details there. Past maturity of nothingness. Bomb it! Ba bam! Nothing. There's a bottle of wine. <coughs> Three more. Duh! See, Jackney just loves the buff one, but he can't have it. It's too expensive for him. That's okay. Jack Nee can't have everything. Otherwise he would be a spoiled brat, which he already is. He, he would be just a more of a spoiled brat. Uh, okay. That is a... Door. This requires a key. You know what else requires a key? Welcome to the camp of the free crows, old friend. We knew you would make it here eventually. Even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> we are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord, Lord of the Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point of living forever if it's just to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Foretold Crow, it is an honor to meet you. Did you find any of our shrines on your journey? It seems there are still seven shrines you have, you have yet to find. I'm sure they will help you on your journey and in the fight with the beast atop of the mountain. Greetings, Foretold Crow. This is the Gate of Knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things. And its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. I'm sure when your time comes, you will free, uh, feel its wisdom guide you towards the correct path. So this is basically the last boss of the game. Um, and these guys are just telling me that there's a lot of stuff I haven't found yet in the game. Damn. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use fur shed by the beast atop of the mountain as bedding. Well, um, hmm. Alright, take care, Angelica. Have fun. <laughs> we all abandoned our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. Wow, such such words of wisdom there, my friend. Oh look, there's crows in those little houses. How cute are they? So there are still many things we haven't found. Hmm.
Frozen Canyon. Oh, there she is. Phew, it's uh, it's quite the steep climb getting getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here in the mountains. Who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast atop of them on the mountain. Yeah, I am getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written, and I have written more than five. <gasps> Once you're ready to hunt down the mountain beast, I'll be right behind you. Well, at a safe distance. Beast lair. Okay, so that goes to the end game, which literally is the end, final boss of the game. But there are so many things we still can do, or should be doing. Huh. Oh, ice physics. Uh, ice physics. Crap. Uh oh. Well, <laughs> I guess we're here now. <laughs> I feel ice physics. Oh my god! Freaking nice physics, I swear. <laughs> no! Wrong button! Crap! Uh, is there three? Okay, so we need to touch that first, and then... Shit, 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 stop! <laughs> Great, that was totally not what I was going for, but hey, it works! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> uh... I'm losing perspective here. God damn it. Where are we going? That is that is a big ass skeleton right there. Uh, I guess we're going here. <gasps> the head is there. Oh. Now there's only six shrines to be found. Yeah, which is... Well, exactly three and three, yeah. Okay, so those are the final shrines. Thank you for the gift, Sug. Why did, why did I say gift, Sug? Well, if that's the case, then... Uh... I guess we're just going to explore for a bit, and if we can't find any everything, then... Cool. They say there's something in the witch's... Stranded sailor. Tiagok says, I agree to Mad Batista. Why Tiagok said gift shug, are you sugging these days that much? Hee <laughs> hee. Sucking these days indeed. Um, hold on. Let's 
Stop following me, little thing. Ow. Matter. Let's do it. Duh. All right, so have a good sleep. I will see you soon. Take care. See, we have stuff here as well. Yeah, I'm probably going to stop as, as soon as well. We're pro probably going to finish this this game later. Um, but that's all good. There's not much to be played anymore, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe there is, it's just... Um, just finding all the secrets or, or something. The final boss should be fine. Should be fine. Oh, it already <laughs> opened up the gate. Oh, yes. Could it be? Nah, I don't think so. It did say something about the hedges. Well, that is that is the secret by itself. Okay. Luke, I am your father. I wish to. I am your father. Everything is lit up here. Drink some water. Some water. That is from Fallout, by the way. The shrines are more important. Uh, this probably goes back to the beginning. Yeah. It does. I just want to check the manor outside. There's something here. No. Could be. Just because there's a there's a passageway there, even though I guess there's nothing there. Just wanted to throw a bomb into that wall in case there was something. Eh, maybe not. But yeah, let's let's check the outside of the manor. Uh, the guy also said that there is something inside the sewer or the furnace, whatever. So that's a place I need to go and explore at some point. Duh, what's in here? Oh, hello. That is another 100 energy souls. Thank you, Ness. Happy birthday again, by the way. Hope you're having a good one. It's Ness's birthday, guys! Say happy birthday to him! He's an old boy now. He's old boyo. Damn! The snow, bros. These enemies are not really doing much to me, is it, is, are they? They're just getting burned alive. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Oh, 
I'm doing so much damage right now. <laughs> All because of the new new sword we got. And by the way, I never figured out the <clears throat> the meaning of the um, umbrella there. Oh, there is something. Uh, maybe through some bushes? Some bushes? Bushes. Not all hedges seems to be what they are. Um. Huh. Wonder we can get there though. Nah, we can't do that either. Oh, okay. Whoa, there's a lot of hedges here. Hmm. Can we grab on this? No. Okay, um, the path might be outside then. Maybe even there, that, that line. Some of these hedges are fake. Can I burn them? Nope. No burning either. Maybe it just goes all... Oh, there's the entrance. We found the entrance, boys. Before we go there, there should be one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. This is good. This might end up uh, actually showing us a lot of different things. Obviously, that's first, but is there something else here? Such a cool mechanic. Okay. <laughs> One more. Man, that's a that's a long long hike this has to be um, one of those shrines I don't think there's any other option this is such a long hike long, long long, long. oh my god <laughs> Man, the crapple is so good in this game. Damn. I wouldn't be, be surprised if this is one of the... Well, you can get it so late in the game, so I guess not. <sighs> oh, the 
movement is so awesome with it. Got him. Shrine. Hey, what is that? Sludge filled urn. Despite being almost black, the liquid somehow emanates a strange glow. Weird. Uh, there. An ornate urn containing some kind of vicious sludge. Even when the bottle is addressed, the sludge writes as if imbued with some of its some life of its own. Better not to, to ask what it's made of. Weird. Okay. <laughs> Basically. But that was still not... Well, it's a new item. That's, uh, that's something at least. Um, there is one more thing here I remember that I haven't found out. Um, it was not here. I think it's deeper in the mansion. Yeah. Ow. I just hit myself. 1,000 souls. We could actually upgrade something as well. Um, yeah, that, that place is completely... Completely already explored, which is good. But there's something we haven't. Uh, not here. No, no, no. Here we go. Oh, maybe here? Nothing there. Ah, only he uh, energy. Damn. Where the heck are the the shrines? Sh shrines. I. Done this puzzle already. Oh yeah, there's the massive chest in the what do you call it? The, the forest. That's something I need to figure it out as well. So a lot of stuff for me to do offline. And then we can just finish the game in the next stream. Who knows when that is, though. <laughs> Even though it's got probably going to be really fast, so... I could probably just do it and continue speedruns after that. Mm. But yeah, th there was just one puzzle here, which I had to... Um, it took quite some time to figure this out. Because, you know, these, these things respawn like that, and we even tried it like, what the hell is going on, but then... Found out there was uh, this old photograph inside the mansion, which I forgot to pick up. And it shows the puzzle location, or the correct path. Order. <laughs> path. Which reveals this place, which is weird. There's two plant pots here, and then we have... This thing, which is now almost fully filled. Okay. So I think I was right. Those things are exactly the, the plant pots. And this will open up when... Uh, once I... Put my seed into all of these plant pots. <laughs> I don't know what's behind that door, but... Uh, I, I guess we will eventually find out. Even better if I can actually stream it. So, if I find all those pots 
I will definitely show it to you guys. If not, then... Well, that will be unfortunate. I really don't want to look up anything, though. That's the thing. I'm trying to avoid that like a plague. <laughs> well, either way, guys. Um, I will search around, look for stuff, and if we find something cool, if we don't, then... We don't. Either way, thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow, like always, hopefully, and... You guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Take care.